Welcome, Jim. We are thrilled today to be talking to what I think in the whole pro-life movement all over the country and the Christendom, all over, we're seeing the real thing here on fundraising. I think it's the scariest thing, Jim, that's out there for so many people. And I think today what we're going to do is just like put everybody at ease. So you're the pro. You've been there. And I've taken advice from you for years and years and learn so much, and so let's teach them some great stuff today. Great, I'm so excited. Give us a little background quick. Well, I'm, uh, I've spent, I came to Christ uh, through crew, through the ministry of mm -hmm. crew, my wife mm -hmm. and I both did, and I have uh, was assigned not long after being on campus at Texas mm -hmm. Tech University, I assigned to the development office with crew, mm -hmm. and I've been in development for 38 years. And so I've had an opportunity to help crew. I have to, I raise about $26 million oh, wow. a year for crew in the campus ministry. And I also help and coach uh, not only individual ministries. I've helped Fellowship of Christian Athletes over the years. Um, just a young life, wide variety of different organizations. But I especially love... Pregnancy centers. I've been board president for two pregnancy centers, and my heart is definitely with the pro-life movement. I'm also a content creator. I have a YouTube channel, Development Effectiveness Strategies. Awesome. If you look on there, that's we'd great. love to have you and subscribe. And I love that. I think that's, uh, you're silly real, and I think that's mm, like, we've mm, been talking in a lot about this, and you know, big donors. Right, absolutely. And not even people wanting to call them donors anymore. Right. Because call them partners. Partners, mm -hmm. and right. And for me, I've developed the best relationships I've ever had. Right. And they're my dearest friends, right. the people that have really impacted yeah. the ministry that of Alpha Center and other ministries that we're involved in. And so, you know, it's about relationships. It is. It Maintaining is. the relationships. It's not about, I think you said many years ago, you said it's not fundraising, it's fundraising. That's right. And I think it's an honor to be mm. able to get to know these amazing people that God has called to give. Exactly. And that took yeah. me a long time mm -hmm. to get that. Yeah. Is that they're called to right. give. Right. And so don't be nervous. Right. That's their calling and right. you're doing an injustice to them if you're not asking. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah, you're denying them a blessing. We know that God mm -hmm. is going to bless those individuals who give. That's right. And by not providing that, mm -hmm. you, you don't want to, I certainly don't want to be in the business of denying people blessings. Yes. But Leslie, you've done a marvelous job of developing relationships. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things I'd strongly encourage those watching is to go deep yes. and, and have a relationship mm -hmm. with those, those yes. uh, partners who have capacity. It may mm -hmm. seem intimidating. It may it be does. scary it at times. Yeah. yeah when you're doing that, but it's so important mm -hmm. to have those relationships. Right. I refer to them as the critical few. That's the 80% yeah. of your dollars who come from 20% of your people. So right. focusing in mm -hmm. on the 20% mm -hmm. of your people and just spending time with those people. Right. You can't, there's, uh, Alpha Center is yeah. an example, thousands of partners. Yes. Leslie could not have an individual relationship with thousands of people, no. but she can have <laughs> a good number of relationships yes. with 25, 50, yes. maybe even 100 people and just go deep right. with those individuals and develop relationships. And that's what I recommend. Right. Well, it's better than in the, the good old days that were not so good. <laughs> that was crisis letters. Yes, and that's then exactly to say, right. You know, say, they'd say, don't send out too many crisis letters because then right. pretty soon people won't actually give. And, that's right. And it's just so much better when you have the relationship and then, yeah. you know, you can be having lunch or you can, might be golfing. You might be right. doing just a fun mm -hmm. Thing right. to do with a yeah. friend and you're just sharing mm -hmm. about what's mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. and how they can impact and it's it's about a relationship it, it is. is it really is and yeah and you enjoy getting those um, mm -hmm. those cards and letters and things from your friends yes. I get it that you know somebody who you hardly know mm -hmm. you know all of a sudden over and over says they need help mm -hmm. you you know that's gonna turn people off I always say that every organization has needs, but few have opportunities. Right. That's one of the things, right. Leslie, that Alpha right. Center has done, is presented opportunities to people. Right. We're not about mm. begging. We're not about mm. putting panic letters or pa mm -hmm. panic appeals. We have got great things going on. God is moving mightily, and you're just cheering with people the opportunity right. to be involved in that. 
So. And you know, I think we were talking earlier, and, and I thought it's, there's a verse that says, God uses the peculiar to confound the wise. Yes. And to never look at somebody and think because of how they're dressed or how they're maybe acting, talking to you, mm -hmm. that they may be the person that's going to be your largest Absolutely. partner. Because I have learned over the years that God likes to show me, mm -hmm. to stretch me, yes. to believe in giving me just the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. Right. And I wouldn't have been able to pick them out of 10 partners and right. said they're going to give a hundred thousand dollars that's right or that's right. they're going to give two hundred fifty thousand dollars that's right i wouldn't have been yeah. able to yeah. and yeah. god knows mm -hmm. he's the one he who owns the cattle on a thousand yes. hills yes and yes. to not underestimate mm -hmm. what he's going to do right right there was a book uh, written a couple decades ago the Millionaire Next Door. Mm. And it talked about how the people that you see driving fancy mm. cars and wearing jewelry or all chains mm -hmm. or whatever it is, yes. those people are probably really in debt. It's yes. the people who are in just an average home. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, used to drive a pickup truck. He was the richest man in the world at the time. And uh, mm. all he used to do was drive a pickup. You never know who no, that uh, that that partner who's going to really come alongside. Right. And I agree with you. They, God, I believe God puts a burden on people's mm -hmm. hearts for certain mm -hmm. things. All you need to do is find out who's got that burden for pregnancy center ministry, right. and they will be right there with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed too that because of that issue, sometimes it's been controversial to some people. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes what we've had to do is. It's just to say, you know, you can give privately and through your foundation right. and have that relationship and, and to be sensitive and ask them mm -hmm. if they want to be upfront and to be recognized right. or if they want to remain behind the mm -hmm. scenes. And most of the people that I work with do want to remain right. behind the scenes. Great. And I honor that. Mm -hmm. I do too. Because I want their businesses to stay yes. profitable and do well, and I don't want there to be any controversy. That's right. Them. Yeah, yeah. It's so important mm -hmm. that you honor that anonymity that they want to have. And many don't, you know, they, they apply the right hand doesn't know what the left right. hand is doing, and they, yeah. they love to help that way and make a difference mm -hmm. uh, as quietly as possible. But the beauty of having that relationship that you have mm -hmm. is that you know mm -hmm. where they're coming from, you know their needs, their interests, their desires, mm -hmm. and you can mm -hmm. say, you know, Fred or Mary, I think yeah. you've got, we're getting ready mm -hmm. to do something that's so important that I think you're going to be interested in. I wanted to share this with you because I think yes. you might, and they'll say, Leslie, and, that's yeah, exactly I what love I that do. because that was probably the hardest thing for me is to be able to be bold enough. Mm -hmm. I just wanted them to know and read something and want to call right. me. And, and it, it had to get to the point where, you know, I really was doing fundraising. I, mm -hmm. I knew when their birthdays were. Right. I knew what their kids were doing mm -hmm. at college. I, I was praying for them. Mm -hmm. And I had them in my heart and my mind of what's going on in their lives. And I sincerely care about them. Right. And they have been some of the people that are the nearest and dearest right. in my life. Right. And they've often said, you know, people kind of hold us up on this pedestal and they don't get to know mm -hmm. us. That's right. And we're kind of lonely at the That's time. That's right. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Especially pregnancy center directors and board members. You can become very isolated because mm -hmm. you don't want to reveal to your staff the vulnerabilities that you have. And, you know, you need to be able to mm -hmm. share with people heart to heart. And mm -hmm. our partners are that way too, especially people in, mm -hmm. in high level positions. Oh, they. Yes. They need to just be able to mm -hmm. share with somebody, mm -hmm. you know, my daughter has a, you know, a problem with alcohol or drugs, or son has yes. a problem with pornography. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to share that. Mm -hmm. When we're in ministry, that's well. the unique mm -hmm. prince, uh, uh, opportunity that we have, is to be able to be there. And many of them would like to do ministry, mm -hmm. just like we would. Yeah. They can't do it. They just, for various <laughs> reasons, financially, relatives, whatever it is, right. so they can give vicariously mm -hmm. through you and they can be in ministry. That's why yes. partnership is so important and not just mm -hmm. Leslie and Alan's Alpha right. Center, but it, we're partners right. together. Well, you know, one of the largest gifts we ever got, I'll never forget. I said, thank you. And I looked into his eyes and I thought, what can I possibly say to you to, to be enough mm -hmm. for what you just did? And he looked at me and he goes, oh, it's not mine. Hmm. It's his. Right. Yes. And I was like, wow, to even have mm -hmm. that 
in his heart. So, and he meant every word right, of it. Right, right, right. And it, it ministered yeah. to me and yeah. it helped me to be able to have belief and know, just rest mm -hmm. and know, mm -hmm. it'll be there. That's right. That's God will have his people and he'll raise yeah. them up. Yeah, that's exactly right. I, you know, the people, it's one thing to keep 90% and give 10% away. But I know individuals, and I know Leslie does too, who have yes. set it out for their life goal mm -hmm. to give away 90% mm -hmm. and keep 10% yes. and live yes. on that. Yes. Those are unique people, but oh. they have a heart for giving and they understand right. that God owns a cattle on a thousand yes. hills. It's not their money, like right. you said. Mm -hmm. It's God's money. And they get the privilege of distributing that. And I really have met some that actually don't live at all like you would think they, mm -hmm. they could live. And they will give. The, they they will give their last dime. Right. And That's I've right. watched it over the years, and I've seen them do it. Right. And it's just amazing to me. Yeah. It's just really that there is a call for mm -hmm. some that they are to be givers. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And whether it's a spiritual gift or just the burden that God puts on all believers, we mm -hmm. I really strongly believe, too, that God does give those them those certain burdens mm -hmm. to okay. give those things. So it's neat. Awesome. Well, Jim, I guess if you had one thing to say to a pregnancy center out there, to someone has the responsibility. Yeah. You know, yeah. when everyone else goes home and you're looking at what the payroll is going to be, mm -hmm. what, what would you say to them? Yeah, well, I appreciate that, Leslie. Really, the key is focus in on those individuals, that critical few, that 20% mm -hmm. to bring in 80% of your dollars, mm -hmm. just slowly chip away and start to develop a relationship with those people. Find out the people who are interested in what you're doing mm -hmm. and just grow and build a relationship with them. Yeah. The, uh, the an executive director or director of a center or CEO mm -hmm. really has an important responsibility. You may or may not have a development director, yeah. but no matter what, the, that major partner really wants to mm -hmm. connect. They have, believe it or not, as much of a strong desire to connect with us as we have to That's connect right. with them. So. And I think centers have to start somewhere. And I've learned that you do grow your development people, that mm -hmm. you know, have a gift with that. And, and That's right. So it starts out usually with the executive director or mm -hmm. the board of directors. That's right. or, and, yeah. Yeah. But it comes. It does. It really does. So, and don't be afraid. Just step yeah. out and and have faith and trust that God will mm -hmm. open the doors with the people that you need to have open. So the then doors we with. meet people like you that help mm -hmm. us polish it all up oh. and be able to present in a great way. And mm -hmm. and thank you so much, Jim, for oh, your pleasure. gifts and that you've been willing to my use pleasure. them and mm -hmm. travel all across the country and mm -hmm. give, give, give. We oh, appreciate it. My pleasure. You're much loved. My pleasure. Mm -hmm.